Here's five more mistakes that we see sign carvers make all the time. We get questions all the time on these five issues and they're easy fixes, so we wanna help you get past those. Number one, spraying your layout letters way too close. If you're using your primer and you get too close to your layout letters and numbers, it's gonna blow them all over the place. Especially if you're carving on site or it's a little bit windy where you're carving, you tend to get a lot closer because otherwise it'll dissipate too much. Try to avoid that if you can. A little trick is you don't want to let your cans get too hot. The heat inside that can will create more pressure, so it's actually going to come out a lot faster. You can put your cans in the refrigerator or even keep a little cooler with an ice block in there to cool the cans down and relieve some of that pressure inside the can so it sprays a lot easier. Number two is layout balance. What I mean by that is to have a balance to what you're putting on the board. You definitely want to have your spacing correctly. Make sure that you measure from both ends so you have the same amount of space on the right that you do the left and also top and bottom. If you have a piece of artwork and you can possibly put it on both sides that you've got enough room to, it gives it balance. If it's the same piece of artwork and they have a direction to them, face them both out or face them both in. Don't have them both facing the same way. So you have to have a balance of being able to show the beauty of the board, but still show your carving off too. So make your layout appropriate for the size of the board. Number three, take breaks. A lot of times, whether you're either carving a bunch of small signs or one big sign, it's really easy to just kind of get in that mode and just start carving away. You want to take a break and come back at it with fresh eyes for a few reasons. Number one, it's better for your back. Another reason that that can be an issue, if you're just kind of in the mode, you've been carving for an hour and you're just go, 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 it's really easy to carve something that you weren't supposed to. In the end, it can actually cost you a ton more time because you might have to redo it. Take your time, do it right the first time, and then you won't have to come back and figure out how to fix a mistake that you shouldn't have made in the first place. Number four, here's a question I get all the time. How fast do I run my router? Most routers these days are variable speed and that's great. However, it's not really necessary for most of what we do. Why you would want to run your router at less than full speed is if you've got a larger router bit. Our router bits are all basically quarter of an inch. They're quarter inch shank and they're quarter inch all the way down. So there's no reason to run those any less than full speed. Now, we also have a chamfer bit, which is a lot bigger, obviously, than quarter inch, but we're really only using the bottom part of that router bit. So again, you can run that at full speed, no problem at all. There is one router bit that you've seen us use on our videos, and that is a surfacing bit. That's a full inch and a half in diameter because that bit isn't designed to run at 30,000 RPM. You definitely want to crank that down. It can get dangerous if you try to run that at full speed. If you're using any router bits other than our bits, definitely check with the manufacturer, find out what their recommended speeds are for that particular bit. All right, last but not least, number five. When you're done carving, especially if you're carving something big or something with a lot of texture in the background, you have to use the stiff bristle brush. What happens if you don't, when you're done sanding, you know, you're gonna use air to blow all the excess sawdust off, you're gonna get a lot of the black that's in your background is gonna blow out because you're actually spraying over sawdust and chips that are in the carving. Then you gotta spray it again and sand it again. Trust me on this one, I've done it more than a few times. You wanna go horizontal, vertical, circles. You wanna do everything you can to get those bristles down inside the carving and take out all of the stuff that's gonna fly out once you hit it with air. So use that brush, use it every single time you carve because the one time you don't, it's gonna mess you up pretty bad. So these are just five issues that we run into all the time with questions that you guys are having problems with. If you have issues that you're running into that we haven't covered on some of these videos, let us know. Maybe we've got an answer for you. Leave a comment down below. We'll address it in the comments, obviously. And 
Maybe it'll help somebody else out and we can make a video with five more mistakes in the future. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.